boys and girls we finally made it to Blåvand after eight hours of travel it's been one of the hardest <laughs> travels we've ever made but we're here now eight hours we could have made it to Beijing but we chose Blåvand so tomorrow I'm gonna try something new we're gonna try and do a fast setup so the camera is on the bike I pulled myself a hydration pack never used it before but there ain't gonna be no stopping for me tomorrow. I'm actually really excited to test it out, test this out. I'm running two 750 milliliters bottles on the bike with 120 grams of sugar in each. And uh, this pack has got one and a half liter of water in it. So no stops for me tomorrow. As I said, never used it. Still got tags on, but uh, we hope it succeeds. I'll see you at the start line tomorrow. Boys and girls, the weather is shitty. We got 60, 6 degrees, not 60. We got 6 degrees, it's rainy, and I've only got my summer clothes with me. Are we ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> we were literally a minute from saying fuck this and not competing today. Like this, this is such a close call. <laughs> We are back in it. Let me tell you about this start. But first of all, welcome back. Today we're showcasing my race at the Gravel Challenge Blavans Hook, which of course is the first ever gravel race in Denmark to be a part of the UCI Gravel World Series. So the start was like nothing I'd ever experienced in such a long gravel race. Everybody wanted to be the first person to ride into the sand dunes. And with roadies like Casper Eskind and gravel pro Nathan Haas on the front, everybody went flying out the gates. When I first looked down at my head unit, the pace said 60 kilometers an hour. And I was of course just hanging on to dear life in an attempt to find a good groove to share the wind with later on, because the wind was blowing. Not as much as the day before, but still. Woo! And as you could probably tell in the beginning, the wind was not the only element that made this to a real gravel challenge. There was lots of sand on the, on the course and it had been raining like all night and all morning. So it was like riding in wet cement. It felt so slow to ride on the sand. But also one of the challenges that I had to face was the fact that I was wearing my road pedals and sand into road cleats and pedals. That's not a great combo. I was unable to click into the pedal so many times, especially in the start where everybody was off the bikes, running with their bikes on the neck. When I had to mount, it took like a minute. Such a disaster. The next challenge that I had to face was that I couldn't feel my hands because it was so cold. So I don't actually know like when I pressed the camera or when I didn't. So sorry for the footage not being great and I just couldn't capture the whole course. Yeah, so sorry for that, but I tried my best, I really did. 
And the last challenge I had to face was that my brakes just could not handle the sand. After 40 k's, I decided to pull out of the race as the last like three to four corners that we approached, I could not stop. So it felt dangerous to keep going. So I had to stop and uh, I've now just been to the mechanic to like get the bike checked as I think that everybody who rode this race has have been doing. And oh my, what a build this race has cost. <laughs> But now looking back at the race in hindsight and looking through the footage again, I'm actually pretty glad that we stepped up to the, to the start line anyway. It was a good challenge, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have it in me to finish on the day, but I'm glad that we started this race. It was pretty cool. And uh, shout out to the guy at the finish line who noticed me from my YouTube. I think that's the first time ever that I've been recognized. So thank you so much. Everybody, just come up and say hi. I'll try to be not as awkward as I was this time. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching again. I want to give you a quick update. I wouldn't call this post race, but uh, yeah, I made it 40 k's in. I was way above waters. I mean, legs were hammered, but I actually felt all right, and we're doing all right speeds considering the, the elements. But uh, when I block both my front and rear brake nothing happens so i think that it would be dangerous to keep on going um yeah fuck this I gotta get home now get changed and uh hopefully get gonna cheer someone but i don't know <laughs> Just freshened up a bit and tried to clean the bikes in the bathroom. Didn't really work out too well. But uh, now we're on our way to the finish line. Kudos to everyone still out there. Absolute menace, carnage this weather. Uh, and to the people in front, in this weather, I'm inhuman, inhuman, that's crazy. Yeah.